Hey guys, this is Billy from AdultChiller.com and today I have five minute abs for your fingers. Talking about the bow hand, finger flexibility is one of the hardest things to develop, especially for adult beginners. So what I have today is a five minute workout that you can do every day that will help promote both a little bit of strength building and also just flexibility and suppleness. Okay, so five minutes on the clock, boom, there we go and we're off. First thing we're gonna do Take the stick of the bow with the left hand just to make sure it doesn't fall. And then you go ahead and just take your regular bow grip, okay? And then tease your pinky onto the top of the stick for this exercise, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make kind of a table with the you know, forearm, top of the wrist, and the top of the hand, nice table. And then we're draped, fingers are relaxed, and then they pull up like this. Okay, so these are kind of finger bow grip pull-ups. Okay, so as I demonstrate, notice the pinky on the top bends. Okay, so if your pinky does like that kickstand thing, there's no way you're going to get it up. You have to let it bend. Uh, let's talk about what I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not squishing my fingers around. Yes, the stick is going up and down, but my fingers are losing contact. So I have a drop of glue on the tip of each finger where it contacts the bow, the frog, and that's where the fingertips remain, but they're flexible. The other thing I'm not doing is bending at the wrist. So again, yes, the bow is going up and down, but now my fingers are pretty much staying completely in place and they're just, my wrist is bending. Okay, so that's why I keep a tabletop with the top of my hand and the wrist and the forearm, and then we just lift up and down. And I think this also helps to know that my thumb behind the scenes, behind the bow, is doing this, almost like kind of a sock puppet. So the thumb has to come with the fingers, otherwise uh, they just won't, they won't budge. So the thumb lifts too, okay? So there you go. That's the first one. Second one is something uh, that's kind of fun to do. You, if you've never done this before, do it on your bed, do it on a couch, do it somewhere where if the bow drops out of your hand, it doesn't drop onto, say, tile floor and shatter, okay? So, and what we're gonna do is, you're gonna turn your hand into either a spider or a crab, and you're just walking up the stick, and what you're trying to do is develop independence of the fingers, and also, the, so they have like kind of two roles they're playing. They're, they're trying to crawl up the stick, but then you're also trying to keep the stick perfectly vertical as you go. So you, they have to maintain really good contact as they do this. They'll be kind of a, <laughs> they'll sort of develop into a routine where for my fingers, it's my pinky, then the next two fingers, then my thumb, then my first finger. So you have to kind of get a chain of command going go up and down. Uh, when you're first doing it, and the stick, is, and you're going upwards, you know, you could also just like kind of let go and keep catching the bow. So just be careful you're not doing that, but you're actually using your fingers and not just letting the bow kind of like slide. Now, if after a couple days that becomes pretty easy and you want to step it up, do the same exact thing, but do it, um, you know, horizontally and try to keep the bow horizontal. So full disclaimer, Although I had teachers mention this exercise, they didn't harp on it. You know, we're all learning here. I love this. Every time I do this and then get back to my just regular practice, I feel a huge difference in my hand, okay? So, and then the other thing you can do is start at the tip and go the other way, all right? So that exercise is fantastic. It's very difficult to do, so if, you know, just kind of work on it in pieces. The very last exercise that we're gonna do, you just take your regular bow grip, okay? And then you're just gonna do kind of a windshield wiper. And please make sure there's, you know, priceless face is not like directly to your left, something like that. And you're just going back and forth. Now what I'm tr not doing is just having a kind of a stiff grip of the bow and then <laughs> moving my arm. I want the bow, almost like when you see batters and they're winding up and they're getting ready and they're kind of rolling the bat around, kind of that feeling where 
certain fingers are going to take over and you'll feel the weight of the bow kind of this way it slides into my first finger and then this way my pinky starts to catch it so you want to feel the fingers doing different things throughout this but it just kind of promotes a balanced grip okay and some kind of strength and don't I mean if you want I guess you could really wing it back and forth but I think just you know just a gentle motion getting that that comfort in that flexible grip so that's five minutes and I think those three exercises will help tremendously if you're working on finger flexibility do it every day um, give me an update in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so already all right see you next week thanks